All right, another Exner uh, video. This one's actually because um, uh, someone on the Rhino forum, Gustavo, asked if you can do or if you can use Xnerbs without building uh, curves first. If you've seen the other video uh, that I made, um, I build uh, these uh, blend curves, and after the blend curves were built, we filled it in with uh, Xnerbs features. But you can also blend with Xnerbs without using uh, curves. So let me hide this. Or let's do that a different way. Let's just select these three guys and isolate them. Um, I haven't done this before, so I actually don't know how this is going to go, but we're going to find out. Um, I know that you can blend. Uh, I just haven't done this model. Um, so we want curvature just like the other model. So we select this edge. We select this edge. Preview. And in the other video, we talked about UV flow. And when you're trying to blend stuff, that's where UV flow uh, comes into play. And so here we see a result that we don't want. Basically, what you want is this setting aligned to uh, adjacent curve that I don't know if it does create a blend curve under the hood or not. But you basically get this blend curve from here to here, and it aligns the surface to it. Now, same as. Uh, um, with the other video, I found that in, in cases like this, all the way to the right generally produces the best result. So we're going to accept that. Um, do the next one. And then we're going to go from here to here. Show the preview. And so here, this I don't like. And aligned to adjacent isn't going to work here because, you know, it doesn't have this curve here. So if we go to natural, that looks good. Um, and then if you do normal to curve, that is not going to work because what it's doing, it's basically creating a blend curve from here to here where it's normal to this edge and this edge. That's the one I don't want. I want the natural one. Uh, key two, we're going to leave that setting. Um, so yep, I'm happy with that. X nerves from there to there. Preview. Uh, and we want that natural. Uh, this is sort of the same surface as the other one. So if we do normal to curve, we get that same kind of weird jog and the same with uh, aligned to adjacent curve. But those, depending on what you're trying to do, they may be very useful. They're just not very useful in, in this uh, instance. And then the final one, uh, we're going to go from there to there to there to there, except. Oh, I wanted to have the zebra preview of that one. So do the zebra preview and curvature between this guy, this guy, this guy, and this guy preview. Um, so that looks pretty good. Change it to vertical. Uh, looks pretty good too. So I'm going to. This, this surface is a little bit different in control point structure than the other one with the blend curves. Um, I'm not sure why. I haven't looked into that that much, but let's add this guy. Um, and you get this really nice. Uh, I think the result is very similar. There is a little bit of a wobble here. Um, you know, I don't know if that's the input geometry or, or whatnot, but, you know, overall, Especially if you're doing concept modeling, you can really quickly fill in stuff and then you can always come back later um, and refine it uh, if, need, if needed. Anyway, this was uh, specifically for uh, Gustavo because he asked the question on the Rhino forum. And uh, with that said, um, happy modeling as always. Thanks.